It lays the predicate and the foundation for the development of a weather satellite that will permit man to determine the world's cloud layer and ultimately to control the weather. And he who controls the weather will control the world. That will permit man to determine the world's cloud layer. And he who controls the weather will control the world. Y'all know what pollen is? We have that in the southeast and it's rampant. It causes allergies. It's horrible. Makes you feel like you got pneumonia. Look at this. It's all in the water. All the way up the beach. But right now, we're tracking the cleanup after a severe storm blew through the middle of the U.S. Tens of thousands are without power in Oklahoma after a record-breaking tornado. Good morning. So we are seeing some small flurries that are still falling. But if you take a look at the sky, we are finally seeing a little bit of blue skies out there in the distance. So that's very much good news for people living here in Flagstaff. This will start to taper off as we go into the overnight hours as this warm front lifts north. Then the system back toward the west. The warm front connects to this low back here. And boy, oh boy, this is the severe weather maker. You see the tornadoes ongoing right now in Texas. That purple right there is a confirmed tornado on the ground heading towards southeastern Oklahoma. A new storm system of rain and high elevation snow pushes from the Pacific Northwest into California and the Rockies. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky, stormy weather. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Holy moly. In Norman, Oklahoma, neighborhoods battered. This Jeep flipped onto the driveway of another home. Families waking up to survey the destruction of strong winds once expected starting in April, now here in February. I just went and got my Walmart version of Zyrtec Allergy Relief. It was about $6 less than the Zyrtec brand. I think it's the same thing. Gotta start taking these one a day. Paul, here, check out this video I just took over at the ponds in Somerville. And at the ponds in Somerville, look at that pollen. It is just floating away. The, the cars turn green. Sometimes in the morning here, you gotta put the windshield wipers on just to get all the pollen off. It's unbelievable. Allergy suffers. It's time for Hell Week. Well, really Hell Month. I'm going to give you the good and the bad with living in Somerville. This is definitely one of the bads. Springtime pollen is no joke. Roofs torn off and windows broken in cars just piled up on top of each other. Yeah, a neighbor is describing this. They, they say it felt like a bomb went off. Tornadoes were also reported in Kansas and Texas overnight. Now that entire region is just cleaning up, trying to pick up whatever's left. Yeah, meteorologist Caitlin McGrath is here with us now. And Caitlin, that storm wasn't the only severe weather that we've seen here in the U.S. That's right, guys. Another barrage of snow, rain, and harsh wind is expected from the West Coast through the Great Lakes as millions of Americans are dealing with the aftermath of last night's storms. I got up and then the wind just threw me back and I'm screaming. It was like a blizzard inside the house with all the debris flying. I was screaming for my kids. This is all connected to the same sweeping storm system, one that brought rare blizzard warnings to the mountains of Southern California earlier this weekend. Then tornado threats to Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri and Kansas on Sunday. 
This twister touching down in Champaign, Illinois. That purple right there is a confirmed tornado on the ground heading towards southeastern Oklahoma. We need to watch this system closely because it gets close to our area tomorrow. You see the high risks and very high risks for severe weather tonight. Tomorrow that threat shifts closer to home. Whereas in Greenville and Asheville, we're in the medium risk for severe weather, a high risk back toward Middle Tennessee. We need to watch this closely because tornadoes are also a concern in this uh, threshold here. Back on the West Coast, a night helicopter rescue in Ventura County outside of Los Angeles. A Jeep and its driver trapped in a flash flood Saturday. A firefighter lifting that person to safety. And on the five freeway, stranded, not in traffic, but in high water. Fresh powder is pretty wet and heavy, but it sure does look beautiful out here. Clearing the roads has been a team effort this morning. Again, we've seen lots of snow plows, clearing the streets here in town, making it a whole lot easier for people to move around this morning. People waking up probably had to deal with cleaning off their car. We've seen a lot of cars over this way just driving with a good amount of snow still on the top of their car. So where are we with your plans? I know it's a busy Friday. You got ball practices, birthday parties, games to go to. Right now we're in the middle. Think of this like a stoplight uh, out on the road. Green means go. There's no dangerous weather. Impact mode is where we're at. That's yellow. You want to pause, kind of take a look at your plans tomorrow. Know that dangerous weather is possible and make plans to stay safe if it does come to fruition. All I do is Lord above will let me walk in the sun once more. Can't go on. Everything I had is gone. Stormy weather. If you are out here, make sure that you are prepared. There's always someone walking among us who has nefarious objectives and will use some of our greatest technology for the unraveling of civilization. That is, that's always been the case. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.